So now I'm on the road hard roadhouse. I got chores to do, and the chore is my trailer. I can't remember if exactly if it's a 2000 or 2002, but I've had it close to 20 years, and uh, I need to get some work done on it. Let's get this thing started. Let me know down in the comments what you think I should do. What you think would be a uh, cool thing to do to a trailer. I'm trying to make this thing so as the older I get, the easier it is for me to deal with cars. Let's get this thing started. This is either a 2000 or 2002 trailer. And I've had it since about 2005. been a great trailer great full not just a C channel but full 2 by 4 framing maybe 2 by 6 heck and it has been awesome and I owe it it's now 2022 I've had it for over 20 years probably and uh I've had it close to I've had it close to 20 years and it's been great for me but over time bumps bruises and everything has resulted in these fenders being jacked up the paint seeing tons of sun never in the cover never being covered whatsoever at all and I need to fix a lot of those things now this was a high-end trailer it's all diamond plate and I want to treat it right so here's my plan I am going to have run over fenders because nowadays I've got a one-ton Jeep that's in the process of being worked on and I've got the three-quarter ton Fords I've got two of them then I've got a actually I got three of them and then I got a f-150 back there and I need something that's going to be uh, able to haul all that so the plan is, I'm going for bigger axles, 7,000 pound axles, I think they're 7,000 pounds. Then, we're... some of the things that have caused me issues with this trailer over the last 20 years is the fact that the rear end is so low. So I'm going to get that fixed by putting on the bigger axles not only are they going to help me with weight on these big trucks that I'm pulling around, they're going to help me lift up the trailer just a tad so I don't have to worry about that back end dragging ground. Have run. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have run over fenders. And on top of that, most likely diamond plate. And I'm going to redo all the lighting on the whole entire sucker. All this has been beat up. I've dragged ground with it so many times, not even going over any crazy terrain because it's so low. But that, that light has popped out. This one's still there, but the squirrels at my other property like to eat my uh, wiring. They ate the tar out of it. So I gotta get that fixed. I'm gonna run PVC tubing underneath the trailer um that way all of the wiring is all protected and one of the biggest things is i am old now and i do not want to ever pull up a car again by using come alongs and uh and ratchet straps so i am going to put a solar powered system on here with my winch that I'm gonna buy for this sucker I've needed a winch for this thing for years and I've always been like oh I'll do it later all oh, my next vehicles are gonna be rolling uh, they're gonna be driving I'm not gonna have to worry about this well I have since decided that I was wrong on that and it's time to get a better system so uh, most likely a one or two battery setup with a winch probably around a 12,000 pound winch and that's probably what I'm going to run uh, it's going to be in a box I'm not sure if I'm going to put it here if I'm not sure if I'm going to put it at the beginning of this right here I do like these these setups which I need one replaced in the back 
um, these D-ring types things. It needs, well, the more years I don't do anything with it, the more years I have issues with it. So this year, this fall, I'm gonna start the process on it. Sand it down. I'd like to use Raptor liner. I'm just not sure how Raptor liner will work on a trailer um, for stuff that's being put up on it. I may put paint on the insides, on the inside here, and then Raptor liner along the edges, and then the sides in the front. Not sure. Let me know what you think down in the comments. This is a, a project that uh, has been needed to be done for a few years. COVID stopped it a few years ago with the price of steel. And uh, now I'm getting it done. Shaker Racing is going to be helping out on this project. As anything that deals with metal or fabricating metal. Um, I want to have it come up to about right here and go over the tires and go quite a bit to the back that way there's a gradual climb over the fenders themselves so that's the next project on the road hard roadhouse it's like we never can finish any projects because uh the covid the beer flu has uh knocked down a lot of our part suppliers can't get things for months but this is one of the next projects on the Road Hard Roadhouse. Stay tuned for a lot of projects on the Impala. Impala is, uh, I took it to get worked on and it's gonna be getting done. Well, I'm not sure exactly how far soon is, but soon is in the equation now and not just distant future. The Jeep, getting it running will be next as well after the Impala. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. The, uh, the trailer for sure going to get worked on this winter. Let me know down in the comments what you think I should be doing with this trailer. I need some help on this thing. I want to do something where as the older I get, the easier it is for me to haul around my vehicles. Thank you all for watching and as always, if you ride her hard, don't put her away wet. Do you have any ideas on this solar stuff? Have you done it? Let me know down in the comments. Put a link to your video. Thank you.